Hey, what is up guys? This is Tina here, and this time I'm bringing you the review of the Galaxy Note 2. The Galaxy Note 2 comes with an Exynos 4412 quad-core 1.6 GHz processor with 2 gigs of RAM, the 8 megapixel camera, the 5.5 super AMOLED display, 720 by 1280 pixels, so is a 720p, one of the best 720p on the market still. 16 gigabytes of storage, upgradable to 64 with the external SD card. On the right side we have the power on button, on the base we have the microphone, the USB in and the S Pen. This is a cool feature only of this phone and it's removable. Of course, we have the volume up and down button. And on the top, we have the headphones jack out. Mm -hmm. On the back, we have the cover that is actually removable. And this is a great feature about Samsung. Now you can see the battery is removable. This one too. 3100 milliampere battery. So it's really a beast. This battery lasts from two to three days in normal usage and just one and a half day on exaggerate usage of the phone. We have the SIM tray, we have the external memory, so you can buy the 16 gigabyte version and upgrade to 64 gigabytes with the external micro SD card. There is the camera with the flash right here. Maybe with a better camera like the one in the Nokia Lumia 920 or the 925, it would have been even better. But actually, this is what we get with the Galaxy Note 2. On the build side, what can we say? Well, this is Samsung, so it's just crap. It's really old plastic, polycarbonate, it's flexible. What do you want? But the, the build quality is really bad. If you compare this with the HTC One, with the iPhone 5, with the Lumia 920 or 925, this cannot stand a chance. Like the Samsung Galaxy S4, they are just all plasticky and you can actually listen to this. So basically on the front we have just the home button. So let's try to turn on the phone. So there's the lock screen. This runs an Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, but I put inside another ROM. This is the Revolution HD by Mike1986. And you can customize totally this ROM. I stuck inside the um, Nova Launcher Pro and I have just a single page to because I like it that way with this cool widget is super widget you can get it on the Play Store and it's really really cool how it looks you can see right here and I have the three dot pages where I stick all the app I just use the most here you can see something about the camera it's an 8 megapixel camera and just takes good pictures the quality is not so bad at all but it's neither is great so if you are a Nokia Lumia owner you probably would need a better camera than this but one actually this is not so bad it's just on the same line of all the other top devices with 8 megapixel cameras so a, a cool feature about this phone is the multi window so you can select it in this menu you just have to press and hold down the back button and here you have all the application you can use side by side so let's take google chrome at the beginning and then maybe put the email on just one side and then you can use you can move the keyboard and use just the first one or the second one you just have to to choose to select what you want to use it's very very cool 
Another great feature of the phone is the screen. Actually, 5.5 inches are really a lot. So this, the phone is big. You can see it my, in my hands. I can use it with one hand, but I have pretty big hands. But actually, with the two-handed, it's really comfortable and usable. And you have a big screen to look anything you need to look with no effort. You can read any book with no issues at all you can watch videos and it's really comfortable so for if you need it for work even with the S Pen feature it's really cool you can tap anything you want there is the S Note application you can take note write down with the pen and you can write down with the pen even messages too so it's very usable and it's actually cool so this is actually still a beast of a phone so if you need um, something between a smartphone and a tablet to stick around all the time don't worry about the battery life and have a big screen to read something send emails watch videos listening to music because it lasts really a lot you probably have found your phone and it's actually compatible for the hardware because it's very a heavy duty machine and you can buy the samsung galaxy note 2 but if you're looking for a great build quality, a great operative system, and Android is great, but in a sort of way, so you have to be prepared because the the OS gets dirty and after some time start to crash, to freeze, to slow down, to be more tricky. And basically this is something you don't have with Windows Phone or with iOS but you can clean the phone up you can personalize completely the phone with android so you really have to choose between the build quality maybe a good camera or the long battery life the great screen and the the comfort of using a big display with all your needs with all your application and stuff you have to do during all day so if you're gonna work with this phone this is really cool just keep up don't put shit on the phone the operative system and it will last long enough that you don't have to reset and reinstall everything to clean the phone every single month so guys thanks for watching leave a comment down below about what do you think of the samsung galaxy note 2 and maybe a thumbs up would be appreciated and subscribe and see you next time for another review peace